In today's video, we're gonna be talking about undergarment secrets every curvy woman should know. So if you're new here, my name is Chi Chi and I posted the video where I was talking about the common dressing mistakes women make and how to avoid them. And one of the top mistakes that women make is with their undergarment choices. Wait a minute. So in today's video, we're gonna do a deep dive into undergarments and I'm gonna be sharing with you my top secrets. So get comfortable. Let's get into this. If you're thinking undergarments, underwear, why does that matter? It's because your undergarments and your underwear are the foundation of your outfit. I talk a lot about trends on this channel. I share ways to wear looks on this channel. I share dressing tips, etc, etc. And you can have the most expensive item. You can have the most expensive piece of clothing. You can have the coolest combination when it comes to putting together your outfits. But if your undergarments are wrong, it will totally ruin the outfit. The wrong undergarment choices can make or break your look. And it can take a look from fabulous to not so fabulous real quick. So in today's video, I want to share these transformative tips with you so you can avoid these mistakes. If you're like anything shaped like me, I wear a size 38 slash 40 F, you are endowed, you are full of busted. And as we're going into the warmer seasons, the cuts, the styles <laughs> tend to get trickier, you know, when you have a larger bust. And it is important that you invest in an arsenal of solutions for the different styles that come out. That is the cutouts, the backless styles, the low back styles, et cetera, et cetera, right? Putting on pasties is not an option, in my opinion, if you are a size D and up, especially if you have a mature size D and up and you have not had any cosmetic intervention the first thing you need to do is of course have already gone and gotten your bra fitted in the last one year okay bra fittings are actually recommended every six months I recommend them to be done every year and I also recommend them to be done if you've gained a lot of weight or lost a lot of weight so maybe you're breastfeeding you've been pregnant your boobs kind of grow multiple size bigger or maybe you're no longer breastfeeding and you're no longer pregnant your boobs will be a different size if you've gained or lost 20 or 30 pounds your breasts may also be a different size. So if you do nothing else, the number one thing you have to have together is you have to make sure that you're wearing the right bra side. Now, again, if you have smaller boobs, you know, you can get away with things like pasties and you can get away with boob tape for these like tricky tops and low back dresses. However, if you do have a larger bust, you need to make sure that you have a properly fitted everyday slash t-shirt bra. And you need to also make sure that you have a properly fitted multi-way slash strapless bra, especially as we're going into the warmer seasons. A strapless bra is necessary for your sweetheart tops, your off shoulders, styles etc etc now if you like cutouts or low back tops or tops with cutouts in the back the next thing you're going to need is going to be a bra converter as you can see this transforms your regular strapless bra into a bra that is perfect for a cutout top or a low back top right when i shared this on my instagram it literally like broke it because girls were so shocked that such an item exists and if you are thinking of wearing a, a dress again with a cutout in front you want to invest in sticky bras that are actually made for larger busts if you don't want to do the sticky bra one great company that i've heard a lot about is brassy bra because it actually has these pieces that are shaped like a bra but it's almost like a boob tape slash adhesive so to helps to give your boobs some lift and is not as complicated as a regular boob tape where you're basically creating a patchwork and hoping and praying that things stay where they're supposed to be and things are lifted. Now if you want to do a cutout but you don't want to do that, you still want support, you still want to be able to wear a bra, another option is going to be to invest in a strapless bra that is a nude to you. I'm doing that here in the video. It looks like you're seeing my skin but actually you're not seeing my skin. You're actually seeing my bra. And because it's the same color as I am, it's not as obvious unless you're looking, looking. That cutout actually is featuring a bra. So the 
next thing I want to talk about is undergarments. If you're like me and you know you got a little bit of booty, you know you're a little curvaceous, my recommendation is for you to every three to six months, one, to top off your underwear drawer, but also to try on the current underwear that you have on rotation. I can't tell you how many times I see women with like incredibly obvious <laughs> VPL. And again, having VPL is not the end of the world. My recommendation is actually to go for seamless styles. And the reason why I recommend that is because they're gonna lay beautifully underneath your clothes. They're not going to be the star of the show. But whether or not you go for seamless or not seamless, if you are wearing the wrong size, it's going to be readily apparent if it is not the right size. So you wanna make sure, in my personal opinion, my recommendation is to size up in your underwear because that means it's less likely to dig, less likely to create an indentation, less likely to be, you know, warped, and therefore it's going to lay seamless. You know, when we gain a few pounds, we lose a few pounds. We may not pay attention to these little updates, but they're necessary if we want our clothing to lay properly and we want to look great. So you have to make sure that you are actually picking the right underwear for your lifestyles. For example, if you are always in bodycon dresses, then you definitely want to invest in more seamless underwear. You want to invest in bras that are more smoothing, um, microfiber bras. You want to stick with those bras because they will really help to create seamless look. Especially if you're someone who, you know, maybe you wear a lot of leggings, you wear a lot of bodycon dresses, etc., etc. That type of underwear makes sense. Now, if you don't wear tight clothes every day, if you're wearing oversized things, then you could, you know, have fun. Pick a lacy bra, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you want to make sure that you're feeling confident and comfortable in whatever underwear you're wearing. When I became a mom, I understood <laughs> why granny panties were a thing, right? Because if you had a child, do you know that you develop that lower belly, you know, pooch unless you won the genetic lottery, and so having underwear that kind of is high-waisted that kind of controls that area makes me and I know for a lot of women makes them feel very comfortable so I don't know why granny panties be getting a bad rap because they do what they're supposed to now if you want that security and you still want to add a little spice you know I really love the Spanx mid-waist and I think high-waist thongs because they are very high-waisted there is a lot of fabric in the front it does help to hold in that area Spanx also makes like thong shaper as well that does have the banding in the belly area to hold you in you want to make sure that you are wearing underwears that make you feel comfortable and make you feel confident because if you're uncomfortable and you're digging in your mm -mm all day you know it's cutting the circulation off your thigh that's not the best way to live it's just it's just not the next solution I have for my curvy girls, especially as we go into warmer months, is to invest in thigh shapers slash slip shorts. Again, a thigh shaper will help to smooth out your undergarments, smooth out any lumps and bumps you have, and also help with chafing. So if you are not comfortable with having a super tight shapewear, a slip short is another great alternative because not only is it seamless, it also helps to create a smoothing line and it prevents chafing. So if you don't want to do a shaper, which again, I get it, I highly recommend a slip short. So to wrap up, make sure you're investing in bra solution. If you have a smaller bust, pasties, boob tape, all of that you can use. If you have a larger bust and you need some more support, check out Brassy Bra, check out bra converters, etc, etc. Consider investing in shapewear. I know in some circles it is controversial. If you don't want to do shapewear, then consider maybe a slip short. I promise you that additional fabric will really help to keep things in place where they're supposed to be. Will give you a lot more support so you're more comfortable during the day. And so especially in the spring and summer months, so you're avoiding thigh chafing. Try a couple of sizes. Make sure you are wearing the right bra, right band size, right cup size. Okay, for the longest time, I thought I was like a 
D turns out I'm more like a 38 F. Okay, a lot of the local stores that you go into usually only stop at a D. And so a lot of people are walking around wearing the wrong band size because they're trying to accommodate for their cup, which just gives you zero support for the girls. Make sure to take the time to go and get fitted so you are informed when it comes to bra sizing. Realize the different brands size differently. So if you pick a brand, my recommendation is to stick with that brand when you find the right size. Speaking of size, make sure you're wearing the right one. <laughs> make sure you are wearing the right size underwear, okay? And when in doubt, just size up on the underwear for your comfort and for a better fit. So these are my top underwear secrets every curvy girl should know. If you have more tips for us so that we're out here slaying on the daily, let us know in the comments down below. And if you found value in this video, then don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and until next time, stay blessed.